A lot of Christians that I've talked to are very reluctant to take medications for things like depression or anxiety, sometimes even for bipolar disorder. And I'd like to say that I have a different take on that. If there was something missing on your body, let's say you were in an accident or were born without a foot, would you have a problem with getting a prosthetic foot? If you need glasses, would you wear glasses? If you needed a hearing aid, I usually wear one and I don't have it here today, but uh, would I not do what I need to replace what's missing from my body? When you need a medication, you actually are missing something, a missing chemical in your brain that you can prosthetically add in there by the proper medication. You need a good doctor. You need wise decisions made medically. So I would definitely do a bit of research and find out who are some of the doctors that have helped people that you know with these kind of issues. You might be afraid that this is a crutch, but you know what? If I don't have a foot, I need a crutch. If I don't have a brain chemical, I need a crutch. Does this mean that I'm not trusting Jesus? I'm not relying on the Lord? He allowed human beings to make medicines for our benefit, to put together recipes for a really tasty food that we have. Some people say, well, I don't want anything man-made. There's nothing in this earth that's man-made. Everything is here by God, and God's gifted some of us to be able to put those ingredients together to make things that would benefit us. Yes, it's possible that if you deal with all your issues spiritually, if you deal with all of them psychologically, that you may not need some of these medications anymore. But in the meantime, it would be very beneficial to you to even think straight and concentrate and have insight about the things that you need to do to get your thinking in order, to get your emotions healed. All those things can be so much easier if you have the proper medication. Now, side effects and improper medication, all those things need to be worked out with a close relationship with a doctor that you trust. But I wouldn't let stigma be the reason that you don't take medications. Well, people will think I'm weak. You know, Jesus said, when I'm weak, then I'm strong. As Christians, we're not meant to go around parading how strong we are. We're meant to admit where we're weak and we need help. And so this is one of the ways that God can use to help you with your weakness until you can get strong and then perhaps you might not need it.